Pseudoscan, the two-minute pseudomotor function test. Pseudoscan is an FDA-cleared medical device that measures sweat gland function as an indicator for small fiber peripheral neuropathy. The test does not require specialized training, preparation, or certification and only takes two minutes to perform. The patient is asked to put his hands and feet on the stainless steel sensor plates. They must be centered on the plate for maximum skin to electrode contact. Movement must be avoided and the patient must not be touched during the scan. The patient's name, ID, age, gender, weight and height are typed into the analyzer. The test starts when the scan button is pressed. As the test starts, the sensor plates auto-calibrate and a small direct current of less than 4 volts is applied to both the hand and foot sensor plates. The chloride ions from the sweat glands are attracted to the stainless steel plates. The chloride conductance is quantified and acts as a biomarker to assess sweat gland function in relation to small nerve structure. Pseudoscan can distinguish between asymmetric and symmetric small nerve fiber damage by swapping electrode polarity during scanning, thus allowing Pseudoscan to differentiate between an isolated unilateral peripheral neuropathy and a peripheral autonomic neuropathy. A double beep indicates that the scan is complete. The patient's report is automatically generated. The measured conductances are expressed in microsiemens. A conductance of greater than or equal to 60 microsiemens indicates good sweat function. A conductance between 40 and 60 microsiemens indicates moderate sweat function and suggests possible early signs of peripheral autonomic neuropathy. A conductance of less than or equal to 40 microsiemens indicates poor sweat function and suggests possible advanced peripheral autonomic neuropathy. The amount of observed asymmetry is an indicator of the type of peripheral neuropathy. For example, symmetrical peripheral neuropathy would be consistent with either a pre-diabetic or diabetic complication. Follow-up schedules are determined by the patient's pseudoscan conductance level and the asymmetry observed between the left and right sides. A patient with poor sweat function and or high asymmetry should receive medical evaluation and is encouraged to retest in three months. A patient with good sweat function and low asymmetry can proactively retest within six to nine months for preventative monitoring. Pseudoscan is an innovative and easy to use medical device. The test is fast, quantitative, reproducible, non-invasive, and doesn't require any patient preparation.